Like many Japanese-American families, um, we didn't have many discussions about the war years, about Poston. Um, I didn't really learn about my grandfather's ordeal um, at Tuna Canyon and later at Lordsburg, New Mexico until much later in life, just a few years ago in fact, that I, that I learned all of the details that, and the types of issues that he was faced with at the time. But uh, I can imagine that was very, very traumatic for him and my grandmother at the time. Among my grandmother's possessions was this Bible that belonged to my grandfather. As far as I know, it's the only of his possessions that remains from his time at Tuna Canyon and Santa Fe and Lordsburg. It was quite moving to actually go through, to read through what he must have been reading through at the time of his uh, uh, stay. And also, uh, at, at the very um, end, he uh, had a uh, photograph of his wife, Yukiko, with uh, her alien uh, registration number and also the family number uh, that he must have uh, inscribed right before uh, leaving for camp uh, to make sure that he had uh, something to uh, remember her by and uh, to have reference to her during the time that uh, he was um, held away from the family. Uh, that is actually uh, quite moving to see. I, I think uh, an important lesson not only for uh, future generations, but uh, I think society as a whole is uh, the importance of uh, family uh, and the importance of uh, never giving up hope. I'm just glad that uh, we have um, these documents here, uh, evidence of my aunt, uh, my aunt's effort uh, to get my grandfather uh, reunited to his family. I've often thought uh, of questions that I might have asked my grandfather if I had an opportunity to, and, and one of the foremost was what uh, his experience uh, during the war was like and how, if that affected his outlook at all.